Wow. I would say these guys know what they're doing. Look at how fast their website is. Woo. Top of the morning. Welcome back. Happy New Year for all of those who took a break from Maddie Ads, who probably also took a break from work. Good for you. Hope it was enjoyable. Welcome back to the grind. Rest assured that Maddie Ads was pressing on while you were gone. Now, today with the website, I want to investigate and research something called Cloudflare, which is a CDN or content delivery network. The easiest way that I think about this is that it is a way to speed up and secure your website. Now, how does it do that? Well, think about a website like Netflix. Netflix has to send a lot of data to you if you want to stream a show or a movie. And imagine if they had to send it from Europe every time. It takes longer to get from Europe than it does if it was on some server that was two miles away from your house. And so that's kind of what a CDN is, right? A CDN is just, if you work with Cloudflare or some other company is they have servers all over the world that can store or cache or preload some of your data. And then there's also some consideration for like some security issues. But the real question is for a website like our size, and even if we were 10x the size we are now, right? If we had 200 articles, does it matter to have Cloudflare? They have a paid and a free version. Does it matter to use either of those? So we're gonna dive deep and figure out if it makes sense for me and for you and for your business. And then, so we're gonna jump right in as we always do. Top of the morning to everybody. Thanks so much for joining us Monday, January 4th. All right. Cloudflare is the most well-known CDN, at least that I know of. So we already know Cloudflare is a CDN and it protects against some security issues that we had mentioned. One of those being SQL injection and identity theft. They also help speed up loading times like we described, right? They just have servers or data centers, whatever you wanna call it, all over the world that are able to preload some of your data. So what's technically happening is if you do have this on your website and a visitor comes to your website, they will access your website through Cloudflare, through their servers. So it'll no longer be through your web host. This article says it's unique to Cloudflare. I wonder what they mean by this. I mean, there's got to be other players in this space that do that. Um, it sounds like there's another thing we should consider here, which is something to do with bot crawling. You always have bots kind of on your website. The most well-known one is Google bot. Google is crawling our website definitely every week or so to see if there's new content and to index pages. One of the problems is they do create false impressions. That is true, but in Google Analytics 4, which we have a video on, in previous versions of Google Analytics, you would want to set up a filter that removed certain bots from your data because all they do is they inflate your numbers. Now, this is the stuff I'm not too sure about, right? This is more technical. So bots can inject spam and malware through backdoors. There would have to be some type of entry point through WordPress or through one of our plugins, I think, for them to do that. And it would be unlikely that we were targeted alone, right? Even if we got big, it's more likely that something happens across a, a large swath of the internet and a patch has to come out to fix that vulnerability. All right, so you might be asking yourself, how do you use it then? So Cloudflare is definitely not a hosting provider. Our hosting provider is Nixie Host. But once you do set up Cloudflare, you actually point your website at Cloudflare. So somebody who clicks on your website gets redirected to Cloudflare before they go to your web host. They can also help pinpoint some security threats due to patterns that they see in your traffic. Assuming that Cloudflare has an uptime that is 100% and they're never down. You could theoretically say this is a positive because your web host will probably have a bigger down rate than Cloudflare. So as long as you're using Cloudflare, somebody can always access at least a snapshot of your website. It appears as well that Cloudflare has some plugin availability. They do plug in with Google Analytics. They're basically saying, if you don't know how to embed Google Analytics code on your website, then this is good. We've already done that. That was like day one, right after we had bought a domain and set up the WordPress. All right, so now let's see what Cloudflare says about themselves. Here are their main selling propositions. Security, SQL injections, or what I was thinking when I first thought about this was like DDoS protection. So this is if somebody wants to point a bunch of bot traffic at your website. If you don't have a CDN, your web host is gonna rate limit you really quick and you're gonna go down. 
I think the biggest selling proposition for somebody like me, perhaps somebody like you, is on the performance side. How does this improve our performance? We already have like 95% page speed loads on gtmetrics.com. So let's actually go ahead and learn a little bit more about their performance services. I will say they're right. I mean, customers do have an expectation of this new era of web. Pages load fast, they're not cluttered. They have a network across 200 cities and 100 countries. What really helps in page speed load is this time to first byte delivery. So the longer that takes, the longer your website takes to load. It is easy to use. We are all about ease of use here. So five minute setup sounds good. And then there's some security services that they work with. So let's go look at their pricing. All right, so this is their pro plan, which I think is their lowest cost plan. 20 bucks a month, what does that get us? So if we're having issues with DDoS, we would sign up for this immediately. The CDN part is probably the biggest piece, right? This is the piece that helps us load our pages faster. And here's the question, do we get this in the free version? SSL certificate. So here's the thing, we already have an SSL certificate. That's the thing that makes, you see how this icon up here has this lock button? This means it's an HTTPS website. This is not valuable to us, I do not believe. And then the other unknown here is like the security aspect of a firewall. Yes, things like this exist. They can protect against that. I don't know if we have any security vulnerabilities. We're only using WordPress. So I don't think we have any vulnerabilities on our website unless all of WordPress had a security vulnerability. All right, they also offer some a la carte add-ons. I don't think they're, they're really necessary. And then they got some apps. So what type of apps do they have? So this is some data about your users. They also have performance apps, security apps, pretty cool regardless. Uh, it doesn't seem like this is something for WordPress developers. Maybe it's just for developers who are developing their own website. Well, there you go. The free plan actually gets us what we were looking for. It gets us the CDN delivery. This makes our website faster. And it also helps us mitigate against DDoS. Now we don't get this fancy lossless image optimization. If you're doing like a photography website, I could see this being really important. They say that this package is built for personal or hobby projects that aren't business critical. I would say another thing in there is businesses like ours that aren't necessarily at scale and aren't necessarily resource heavy. We've gotten the gist of it from Cloudflare. The next question is, what the heck does Reddit think about this? <laughs> I will say I'm seeing a lot of people recommend using it. I haven't seen too much of people not recommending getting Cloudflare set up. All right, so in general, I'd say Reddit is pretty positive on this. Let's see what Generate Press says. So generatepress.com as a website does not actually use Cloudflare. They're just using that auto-optimize. Wow, I would say these guys know what they're doing. Look at how fast their website is. Woo. Let's see if we get the same numbers and we'll compare it to our website afterwards. Wow, they weren't kidding. Look at that. Crazy. So it's not going to be a, a real test because that page we just analyzed of theirs has no content on it, no images. But let's just see where we are with ours. We're not at 100%, but dang, we're, we're doing pretty good. My guess is that if we used Cloudflare, this number would go down. All right, so let's go check what our host has to say. So Nixie host. Okay, so they do recommend Cloudflare for a DNS management. Here's the waterfall of what happens here, right? So if we decide to use Cloudflare, we basically tell our registrar, which is Namecheap. In there, we have to set our DNS configuration and we have to say, hey, stop pointing our traffic towards Nixie host, but instead point it to Cloudflare. And then within Cloudflare, I think you set up Nixie hosts IP addresses. So that was a deep dive into Cloudflare. I think we, we saw definitely more positives than minuses. I think the biggest takeaway was the ability to help potentially speed up the website. My gut reaction right now is to not worry about Cloudflare, even though they have a free plan and we can get set up. It's just one more thing we would technically need to do and then keep our eye on. And I'm not sure how much juice I'm gonna get out of the squeeze. So for now, I'm just not gonna do it. Potentially in the future, if our site slows down or if we uncover that we have some issues with DDoS or security needs, whatever, we'll come back to it. In lieu of that I think tomorrow just because it's recommended so much by the folks at Generate Press is we're going to look at the auto optimize plugin. It seems to help with other areas of caching that super cache does not do. So 
That's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you so much for joining.